Laws.com. Legal Forms Guide. Motion for Appointment of Guardian Ad Litem 942A. This form can be used for a case involving parenting, time-sharing, or paternity and to request a guardian ad litem for the best interests of the child. The form needs to be typed or printed in black ink and the completed form needs to be submitted to the clerk of the circuit court. Step 1. After filling out the heading of the document, the petitioner or the respondent must check the appropriate box asking the court to appoint a guardian ad litem. Part 1 requires the petitioner or respondent to list the names, birth dates, ages, sex, and addresses of all the children involved. Step 2. In Part 2, the petitioner or respondent must state if child abuse allegations have or have not been made in the case. Check the appropriate box. Step 3. In Part 3, state what the motion is establishing or modifying. Check the appropriate box and circle the appropriate letter. If the matter does not concern parental responsibility or the parenting plan, provide a description. Step 4. In Part 4, provide a description of why these actions meet the best interests of the child. Step 5. On the second page of the form, check whether this document was mailed, faxed, or hand-delivered to the parties listed below on a specific date. The petitioner or respondent must provide information for the other party or the attorney, and the other party or attorney must sign and provide the necessary information. If a non-lawyer helped the petitioner or respondent fill out this form, they must provide their contact information and who they helped. Check the appropriate box at the bottom of the document. Step 6. After the document is mailed to the other party, a judge may request a hearing. If a hearing is scheduled, a clerk, court staff, or judicial assistant will provide the petitioner or respondent with the date and time of the hearing. They will then have to file a notice of hearing general with the court and provide a copy to the other party. To watch more videos, please make sure to visit laws.com.